Sometimes I want to add some color detail to my characters uh, or to my objects and I don't want to create an image map and I don't want to um, work with procedurals and weight maps to kind of put the detail where I want it and so I use the color vertex map feature to pull it off. Uh, these four characters here all use color vertex maps. We'll just take a quick look. Um, this little character uh, so that I can get the soft transition between the dark fur and the light fur, the orange fur and the, the white fur there, um, from on the feet and the hands and on the face, and a little, little bit of black color in there. Uh, we'll go to the next character and we'll see that the frog has got two-tone. We've got the lighter color and the darker color, and even between the toes with the webbing. And we've got uh, this character, a little bit of makeup, some uh, some blush and some eyeshadow. And we've got this little uh, elf with a little bit of blush and a, a red nose. And also this little gradient that's going on on the hair. So it's a really easy thing to set up and use. And uh, I use it all the time on my, my characters, but it's not limited to character stuff. Let's just see how to set it up. I'm going to pop over to... Uh, this female character that we saw earlier, except it doesn't have a color vertex map on it. So let's go ahead and create one, throw a little bit of color on there, and we'll be set. Okay, so I'm going to come down here to C for color. That stands for color vertex map. And a color vertex map is just RGBA information, red, green, blue, alpha information, saved to the point. So it'll be transferred with the object, which is kind of a, a bonus of working with color vertex maps. So I'm going to come over here, new, let's give it a name. I'm just going to say face and we need to apply it to a surface. So I'll uh, apply it to the BD base. That's the surface uh, name that I gave the base skin here. We'll choose create and it adds it to our list so we can close uh, the window, close that little panel. And now we just need to start putting on the color. Now we could go to the map tab and choose set map value, select the points that we want and give it the value one is R, is red, green, blue, alpha. So that's what value one through four stands for here is red, green, blue. That's, that's the information it's looking for is uh, red, green, blue, alpha. But I find it easier to work with the airbrush. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cancel that. Click airbrush in for numeric. For the vertex map, we'll choose face. And let's choose um, some eyeshadow color. We'll go with blue, similar to what we had at the other one. And I'm going to make sure that symmetry is turned on. So what I do to one side, I do the others. I don't have to do that, but uh, it'll speed things up. So I'll right click and size my brush that's working with the air, airbrush tool. I could also just come over here to the radius and uh, adjust that there, but I'm just going to left click and drag and I can give some um, some eyeshadow it kind of oversprayed I'm gonna undo zoom in a little bit size down my brush and just left click and drag over so I can get some nice uh, eyeshadow there and I'm gonna give her a little bit of blush just pick a color and kind of airbrush that on Okay, so there we go. Added a little bit of makeup. It's saved to the object because it's a vertex map and that information is saved to the point. The uh, one thing to keep in mind when working with a vertex uh, color map is that the color that you're airbrushing on needs to be a lighter color. So if we go over to, let's take a look back at our, our characters over here. Um, let's, let's look at, say, this frog. Uh, the color without the color vertex map, let's take a look at what it looks like. Over in the surface editor, come over to the base for, let's find the, the frog. Uh, frog. We'll come over here to frog light, which is the, the surface that we have for the base here. In the advanced tab, we've got the v vertex color map. So if I want to remove that, just hit none. So this is the actual color of the frog and I airbrushed on the darker color. So you want to um, you want to make sure that your your base color is going to be lighter than the color that you're gonna put on there and then you can take advantage of the vertex color map for your objects just to dress them up a little bit.